Hi friends, in this video tutorial, we'll be talking about clean room technology and you know very briefly what is clean room and why clean rooms are important and why are they used. So the answer for that is clean room is a specific environment or environmental system produced by human being uh, where so many different parameters are controlled, monitored and measured throughout the time. That's kind of a definition of clean room. Right? Now what is clean room? In very basic sense if you think of clean room means uh, the room free from dust in the very beginning because the room is getting unclean due to the dust, right? dust particles and that's kind of true uh, to some extent because the room we are talking about uh, are most of the cases particle free that means dust free. Dust is one type of particle but dust is not complete particles. Dust is a type of particle. So it's a particle free room. Because we detect particles in the room and the cleanliness of a room is uh, measured due to the presence of particles per cubic foot or per cubic meter of that room. That's how we detect uh, the presence of particles there. Okay, so now let's talk about it in the, what is clean room technology and how can we use clean room technology. Clean room is required for uh, multiple purposes in, in technology industries, in biotech industries as well as in uh, information technology industries as well as the software industries where we prepare not software actually hardware industries where we prepare a lot of uh, semiconductors and chips like things like Intel and all this uh, stuff we require this uh, this clean room to process actually okay and as well as in biotechnology because here we are talking about mostly from bio biotechnology perspective or point of view in biopharma industries where vaccines are prepared or medicines are prepared uh, we need to keep that room very much healthy without any contamination or any source of damage to that environment because the clean rooms are having several different properties to be maintained one is that it should be free from contamination it should be free uh, it, there, there should so let me write some of them it will be very easy to understand it will be free from so what are the things that are monitored in the clean, clean room one is the contamination Contamination is the biggest enemy of any production, either it's a biotechnology or bee pharma production unit or it's a semiconductor production unit. Contamination is dangerous. Second thing that we need to do is, uh, is uh, the temperature and moisture content. Temperature and moisture content should be maintained properly and also pressure of that room is also important. So these are the three things, uh, major three things that we need to control uh, to, to make a clean room always safe to work uh, and produce product. Actually it's used in the production uh, part of the, of the facility. Because you know, in contamination means wherever, if, if, if you think about contamination, it is a presence or, or a presence of any materials which compromises the healthy production of, of this clean room. And those materials, uh, what are the different way of contamination? Uh, the way, uh, the maximum way of contamination is the human contact. Human being is uh, the sole and huge, not sole, but huge source of contamination. Because if you think of human being, contamination could be due to the dead skin cells. It could be oils coming from your body. It could be hair falling. It could be sneeze particles, speed particles that are coming out you know, all the time. Perspiration. So all this stuff uh, and also... Uh, the respiration stuff and all these things they belong to this contamination part so but we also uh, in, in some cases the clean rooms are automated uh, using robots to perform their task but in most of the cases uh, where people need to work they need to use specific guidelines to work we have specific vests and specific gowns to, to put in our body and we may monitor our body like that we every time we we keep the temperature and moisture level in the room very very optimized level temperature should be uh, cooler uh, if it's required most of the cases moisture should not be there because moisture promotes in, in biological system in, in uh, medicine industries bacterial and fungal contamination is also very bad so we need to make sure whether the environment is such a way that the contamination should not be present there that means there should not be presence of any bacterial and viral contamination so to do that uh, the moisture level is very down, it keeps down, it, it, the room is drier and cooler and also uh, to block the contamination it should have air filtration system throughout the 
in the clean room because you know the clean room could be a separate completely separate unit or it could be a unit inside a huge room but it is designed in such a way but most of the cases uh, in most of the clean rooms there are air filters air locks are also there where uh, the human first enters and there will be a shower uh, with disinfectants and many different uh, things uh, to, to, to completely erase all the contaminants that are available even upon uh, the, the top of the gown also then that person enters into the actual area of clean room and these are the things in the air filters that used uh, that are used in the clean rooms are two types uh, UPLA filter and uh, HEPA, HEPA and UPLA so what are those stuff uh, HEPA filter we use we also use UPLA okay so HEPA means high efficiency particulate air filter and UPLA is ultra uh, ultra I think ultra layer probably ULPA probably I am not sure about the name so this. so both these filters we use uh, most of the cases HEPA filters are present and UPL uh, or ULPA I am not sure about that still now just check it later but these HEPA filters are uh, the filters which, which actually prevent the entry uh, or exit of certain air uh, of air that are coming in or out from the environment because the air is moving inside the room and also coming out from the room so usually we need to check it when the air is moving inside the room so that all the particles are trapped in the filter and only pure air uh, is entered into the main area core area of the clean room that's the functionality of HEPA filter so air comes in once it passes through, so it's contaminated air passes through HEPA it becomes clean air okay now clean air means uh, what kind of air we can say as a clean air and uh, what is the standard to tell that this room is clean room not my living room is clean so the standard to tell is based on the number of particles that we find in per cubic foot or per cubic meter of that air of that room so it's it's simply like that uh, previously it is uh, it is by the federal law, uh, law federal rule we need to detect the particles uh, belong to 5 micrometer long and if we find part particles like 5 micrometer long the number of particles that we get uh, of that 5 micrometer long range uh, will commit to the number of whether the room is clean or not but now that uh, that uh, idea is replaced with another ISO certified where ISO provides uh, the right uh, to tell whether the room is clean or not and now the, the particle size is reduced to 0.1 micrometer to 0.4 micrometer. So the particles belonging to the range of 0.1 micrometer to the 0.4 micrometer, the number of that particle present in the room is uh, designated as a clean room. Normally, uh, the particle that we see all the time in the air currently is uh, more than 3 crore, uh, more than 30, uh, yeah, more than 2, 3 crore particles per cubic meter we see outside us or surrounding us. But the actual value, uh, a very good clean room value uh, of ISO standard clean room. There are different standards of clean room based on the number of particles present per cubic meter. But uh, one of the very, very fine clean rooms contain only 12 particles per cubic meter. Just imagine this, 12 particles per cubic meter. So it's a hugely clean room where the, the normal air contains over 300 lakh uh, particles per cubic meter that room contains only 12 particles per cubic meter so if you talk about is in, in theoretically if a room can be super clean like no particles uh, at all it's not possible it's not possible no filter even HEPA or EPL or whatever filters we talked about are not that efficient to get the air that much pure but we have clean rooms with 12 particles per cubic meter which is a very very clean I can even you can think of that room without any particles right these are the clean rooms that are used in uh, higher facilities to develop semiconductors and chips because semiconductors and electronic chips that we design they are very very sensitive to all those particles and in the presence of particle uh, the electric charge may vary and the chip may damage right so that's why you need to make sure all these things 
uh, are present. So there are ISO certified uh, ratio and table is there. I'm not going to talk about because I don't remember all the stuff. Uh, you have to memorize the stuff. But there are different ways to tag it. That if the uh, particle number is that uh, is belonging to the class two, if the particle number is this class three, that class four, like that. So have different classes of ISO standard to give a, give uh, as a clean room clean room standards. So that's uh, basically the overview of what clean rooms are. And clean rooms are very very important for designing uh, those as I've told you in the in the semiconductors and production of cheap electronic chips as well as they're very important for biotechnology purposes to production of medicines and also for any kind of cellular and molecular biology researches. Okay, so that's uh, the overview of the clean room. If I I hope uh, you guys like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. And also share this video with your friends because they need to know that also, right? Thank you.